Hey, are you looking to learn how to plot 3D graph in Matlin, right? Then this is the right video for you. Because in this video, we are going to learn how to plot 3D graph in MATLAB like all of this. Yes. And, oh my God, this 3D graph is getting animated in MATLAB. So stay tuned. We will also learn how to animate this type of 3D graph in MATLAB in this video. So let's quickly jump into it. Okay, so now we'll start with very first command to plot 3D graph. This is untitled script. I don't want this. Let's close this thing. This is the script of our previous video. In our previous video, we have also learned that how to plot different varieties of 3D graph. And if you want to learn that varieties of 3D graph, you can watch that video later on. The link of that video is in description and above here in card. But here in this video, we do not want all of these things. So let's remove these things. The things that we do not require, we are going to remove. X label, Y label, Z label and uh, title that we want. So we'll keep it. So now we'll start with very first command and that is mash, mash plot. And for that, we need to define X and Y. So let me quickly define X and Y. So there we go. This is our X and Y. Now these X and Y's are scalar. If you want to plot 3D graphs using mash, surf, all of this command, then we need a uniform matrix. So to achieve this, we'll use mash grid. So let me write that thing. So there we go. X comma Y is equal to mash grid of X, Y. These are the small x and y and these two are capital X and y. Now we'll write z as the function of x and y. So there we go. This is z. Now we'll write mash command. And now let's run. So this is a simple 3D plot. And using this rotate button, you can rotate this graph and observe. So this is just a simple mash plot. Basically, the use of mesh grid is to transform the domain specified by vectors x and y into arrays x and y, which can evaluate functions of two variables and three dimensional either mesh command or surface command. Both of these things is just to give you a mesh plot or a surface plot. The rows of output array x are copies of vector x and the columns of output array y are the copies of vector y. So this is the basic and fundamental of mesh grid. Now we are going to plot a little bit more complex graph than this one. So let's close this thing and uh, we'll make few changes over here. Now we'll replace this z with a little bit more complex function sine of x and cos of y and we'll uh, change the respective value of x and y instead of this 2 let's make it 10 and now let's run so this is a little bit more complex graph a plot of more complex function so this is how you can plot 3d graph using mash command the mesh command is used to plot mesh of lines between the points. Now I'll show you one more interesting command to plot 3D graph in MATLAB. So let's quickly explore that. Close this thing. We do not want to use this command now, so we'll just comment it. And instead of this, we'll use another command, surf. So this is another command surf all of these things will keep as it is but instead of this mesh we'll use surf now let's run so this is another way to plot 3d graph in matlab you can see this 3d graph there is a small difference between mesh plot and surf plot now we'll try to find difference between mesh plot and surf plot 
so we'll uncomment it and we'll plot this surf in another figure so let's run this is the figure one is the plot using mesh command and the figure two is plot using surf command so you can see the difference between these two commands the mesh command is used to create mesh of lines between the points whereas surf fills the gap with colors between the lines so this is the difference between surf plot and mesh plot hey are you going to use this command in your matlab project if yes then write yes in comments below some more interesting commands to plot 3d graph and to animate 3d graph is coming up so stay tuned now let's learn how to style this graph so we'll close this thing this one also so now we'll plot only surf command so we'll comment these things run it and you will able to see only these things right so right now there is one simple thing that the border is being represented with the black line and in between the gaps is filled with the colors now just imagine what if we have more numbers of points then we'll have more numbers of borders we'll see this thing and observe this graph is fully black because the fill color in between the area to fill the color in between is very less right so the full graph looks so black because all we can see is black lines so how we can remove this black lines so let's go through that thing for that we need to write one line command and that is shading enter let's run this thing and you will be able to see the graph without black lines So using this shading enter you can stop plotting this black lines so this is nice representation of graph without black lines for your reference if you want a color bar with this graph then you can have it very easily just close this thing and write one line color bar is that line and run the thing you can have a nice looking color bar with the graph so now you can have an easy idea that what color represent exactly what amplitude this is one type of color you can even control the color of this graph now let me show you how we can control the color of this graph so for that close this thing the command is color map there are various types of color map that you can see all of these types of color map is on your screen so these are the different types of color map which you can use to color your 3d plot right now we are going to use color map summer now let's run so this is the color map of summer instead of this summer you can even use winter and this is the winter color map representation for the graph there are still much more varieties to this color let me show you that thing sparula so this is the basic color map i don't know how to pronounce that parula but here you can see the gradient of color but you can divide this gradient into fixed numbers of color for example uh, i want to divide full graph into four segments right so parula 4 and let's run so full map is divided into four colors you can even change the number of segments you want instead of 4 if you want 8 you can have eight varieties of color so this is the eight variety of color instead of this parula there are another color scheme jet 
you can even use this jet color scheme so this is the jet color scheme so this is how you can style your graph the way you want hey and now i want you to like this video if you are really enjoying this and you can subscribe to this channel if you are going to learn similar things in matlab because here on learning vibes we have created a separate full playlist on matlab tutorials in that playlist you can learn so many things about matlab for your project now after all of this interesting plot let me show you another variety of plot and that is waterfall so for that we don't want all of these things so for time being we will comment it and that graph is waterfall let's run this thing and you can see this graph this is the waterfall type of graph let me reduce some of the points so can you can have a better idea you can differentiate easily between uh, surf mesh and waterfall type of plot so this is the waterfall plot at the edge it will look like a waterfall and that is why it is named as a waterfall graph so this is the waterfall graph and now we'll move ahead with another plot let's comment it now we are heading for another type of plot that is contour plot so to plot contour the command is contour x y z and let's run so this is the contour graph basically this command highlights the contour line of graph you know what you can even control the numbers of contour lines by giving just a small input in the command so now let's explore that thing over here there are many lines of contour right so close it for example we want only three lines in contour so let's run so here we have only three lines which represent a segment of layer 1 2 and 3 for example if we want more lines uh, say 13 lines let's run so now we have 13 lines in this contour using more lines we can more accurately represent the particular segment of the amplitude so instead of 30 just for fun let's have 130 lines and see how your contour looks like la la so close this thing we have seen how to plot contour now we are going to add some fill colors in that contour and for that the another command is contour f and let's run so this contour f fills the gap with the colors and you can have this contour f 3d graph basically this contour is always 2d because it represents different amplitude of z axis with different colors so that is why it is basically a 2d representation so this is how you can plot varieties of 3d graph in matlab using different commands now you tell me which of these commands you are going to use in your matlab project from this video write that command in comments below and tell me which one you are going to use and yeah i am out here on facebook instagram telegram so if you want to ask me anything reach out to me on any of this platform the links are in description box below and after that the time is came for animation so now let's have some 3d animation in matlab so to have that 3d animation we do not want all of these things so we'll just comment it we don't even want this too so we'll comment it and now there we go let's run this thing 
and have our 3D animation. So this is how we had our 3D animation. If you want to learn how I did this animation, then ask that thing in comments below and I will make a separate video on this topic. If you want to download this MATLAB file, then join my telegram group. Over there, I have already uploaded this MATLAB file. You can download it and modify it the way you want and use it the way you want. There are other interesting MATLAB tutorials and I think you would like to watch them too. And the link of all of these tutorials is on your screen. So do not forget to watch this video. So until we meet again in our next video, till the time, bye bye.